We are in an energetic war, and the chemtrails that we see in the sky are just a piece of the puzzle. When we focus very deeply on chemtrails and get obsessed with the heavy metals and get despondent and depressed, we are losing the energetic war. And I, I just want to convey that it's inevitable that a parasite that is trying to suck off the energy of this planet and our life energy is not going to stop spraying. And if we get upset every time we see them doing that, that's like getting upset because they fluoridate the water. They fluoridate the water so we don't drink that water. We clean it or drink other water. Of pictures that I took outside my house, looking up at the sky and seeing these chemtrails. I live close to the Portland airport, so we get just absolutely bombarded with geoengineering. And we had about 35 chemtrails go directly over our house this day. And every single cloud that you see up there is not actually a cloud. It's nothing but wispy chemicals dropped by planes. I equate them to chemical weapons being dropped on the citizens of the United States and around the world. Now, is this a reactionary statement? No, because we actually have all the proof on our side. Geoengineering expert and researcher Dane Wigington has tested a 10,000 times spike of aluminum in the pristine waters of Shasta. That's 10,000 times the normal amount of aluminum. And remember, they have proven a connection between aluminum and Alzheimer's. Obviously, deleted memory is part of the program here. <laughs> very secret joint program called MK Ultra with the British. The British part of it was called the De Tavistock. And they developed uh, through human experimentation, which was completely illegal. They kidnapped, they um, coerced uh, children and adults. They used uh, U.S. military personnel as guinea pigs in this secret mind control project. They spray the sky. We feel powerless. But I'm going to explain that's not the case. We don't have to live with that feeling of powerlessness. The most important evidence comes on their own documents where the IPCC, the climate scientists, have put out a report. And in the last sentence there in the report, they mention, yes, we are indeed geoengineering. They are admitting to it. So once and for all, the days of talking about chemtrails as some sort of conspiracy theory can be put to rest because the government papers and the climate scientists all around the world are admitting it in their own official paperwork and reports. If you go back to 1972, and you look in the congressional records, and I think it was in the middle of the year, there was Army representatives uh, giving testimony in front of uh, a congressional committee stating that there can be mind control waves uh, that can piggyback human brain waves, and people think it's coming from their own thoughts, but they can be controlled. Yeah. And they said that that was back in 1972, in the beginning of the Montauk Project. And they were saying how how vital that would be for national security. Yeah, so that's yeah. the long, 37 years ago, and that was uh, being discussed. Who controls this? Well, Hollywood. Let's not ignore the clear messages that they're sending us. They're putting the messages everywhere. Hollywood is just a mouthpiece of the higher order 
which is higher than the government, and it's higher than the 12 banking families. There is something that's been attacking our planet for millennia. The human race is ready for a huge change, and we're on the cusp of a major transformation. And the parasites that are think they're running the show and have us mind controlled to think they're running the show are running out of gas and they're freaking out they are absolutely freaking out you're seeing chemtrails being knocked out of the sky and dispersed actually up into the atmosphere um, by organite that i made myself <laughs> that even back then and so you can just imagine what they've done since that time you know when you, that's one of the symptoms of the ELF because what happens is that it's an extremely low frequency mm -hmm. and it keeps the uh, inner ears, uh, the bones, vibrating at a very high rate and you get that humming or, or buzzing sound in there. The cover-up here is not a cover-up of geoengineering. To speak about chemtrails and geoengineering and not to talk about orgone energy is to get half the story. Wilhelm Reich was a great scientist. He came from Austria and he moved to the United States for freedom. And he came here to do his work and his research on orgonomy. Wilhelm Reich discovered in the 1930s that human beings had an electrical current, a bioelectrical pulse in their bodies. And he found that this was the same energy was the life force energy, the same thing that ancient cultures called chi and prana. He discovered that this energy was everywhere and could be measured scientifically. It's in us, it's in the atmosphere, it's in plants, animals, it's what gives us life. And he also incidentally, and not so incidentally, discovered that weather modification was happening. So he found out, he was one of the first people that was really able to pinpoint these energetic phenomena, and he did meet his demise over this at the hands of our government. Organite helps to knock out chemtrails as well as helps to convert the negative EMF into a positive organic scalar wave energy that is actually healing. It's a conversion process that happens. It's a beautiful thing and a good way to keep yourself healthy in the midst of these crazy times. <laughs> that there's a life force energy in all of us and if you can harness this energy out of the atmosphere this is the man Wilhelm Reich he found that if you could harness this energy out of the atmosphere you could cure cancer with it so he was doing research and work with organ accumulators and the organ accumulator with, was a box you'd sit in layering uh, inorganic and organic materials to collect he found that this would collect orgone out of the atmosphere and if a cancer patient sat in there for you know an hour they would feel relief of their symptoms so he was in experimental phases with this and he came under great scrutiny by the FDA because they don't like people curing cancer and they also said this was the big excuse orgone energy doesn't exist that was what they said that's all they said organ energy doesn't exist and if you write about it that is mislabeling and you're not allowed to do that because it doesn't exist so therefore we need to burn your books destroy your laboratory and put you in jail which is what happened ultimately in the 50s the other application that he found for orgone energy was in ending drought conditions so he used it in drought abatement to induce rainfall. He did this in Maine, and he did this in the southwestern desert. 
What is being covered up is not chemtrails. Chemtrails are merely a metallic medium to convert the atmosphere into a plasma state for use in weather and energetic warfare in the atmosphere and against us. fixate on chemtrails we're just fixating on a physical thing we can see but it's just a sign of something else what he discovered was the life force energy in all of us and the u.s government did not like that the fda did not like that they didn't want him treating cancer they didn't want him ending drought they didn't want him with these abilities weather modification was already fully underway and they didn't want somebody going out there and messing it up. And Wilhelm Reich's big mistake was to inform the government of his activities because he thought sincerely, and in his naivety, as a foreigner who had moved to this country for freedom, that he had moved to a free country. And in his naivety and sincerity, he told the government, he told the Air Force, he told them what he was doing, and that was his demise. So again, this was a totally cloudless day, and then they started spraying chemtrails. It turned into those low, wispy, chemically white clouds. It becomes hazy and blocks out the sun. This is on purpose because they're trying to mitigate and block the sun's rays. But regardless of the motivation of why these chemtrails are there, whether they're being sprayed for harp or for depopulation or for breaking down the human immune system or you know, whether they're killing two or three or four birds with one stone, whether they're manipulating weather, regardless of the motivation, they are now admitting it, it is happening, and so our eyes are not deceiving us when we look up and see these planes dropping chemicals on our heads. Uh, people's behavior, right, the idea that uh, Aaron Russo talks about when, he's, when he met with Nick Rockefeller at the CFR, Aaron Russo said, well, these guys want to be able to ultimately control human behavior. They want to be able to chip them or somehow control your, your buying patterns, your work patterns, right? Uh, every, all aspects of basically eliminating free will, right? So if that's, let's say, the goal, how, is this, how would the space fence fit into this sort of this mapping and uh, control structure? Well, Sean, I don't know about, I mean, I think that's already being done. Um so this video is to both inform and also let you know one simple way to protect yourself and your family and your neighbors even by making Organite or buying Organite and placing them outside to help mitigate these chemtrails and disperse them. Knock them out of the sky. if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapor. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you, it's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. But for now, an immediate solution to protect yourself would be make sure that you have some organite inside and outside your home. I'd like to give a plug to Climate Fake by David Yates, are now available on Lulu. A stunning truth book exposing the climate fake crime. And here are some details and specifications.
So get yourself along, get a copy, get more than one copy, share them around. That's about it really. Okie doke. Catch you later. Yow!